You know, they say spring is the time for love. That's what they say. This is the time of year when a lot of people go looking for it. Love can be anywhere. A lot of people are dating online now. Martha Stewart is now on Match.com. And this is, um, she, she is. I, I, she's announced it. And this is her real profile. Let me show you some things. This is, um, she looks good. She is curious, intelligent, entrepreneurial, hardworking, fun, adventurous. So Martha Stewart is out there looking for a date. I'm looking for a date as, as well. There's probably some tips I need. I'm kind of nervous about it. So I've decided to bring in a dating expert. We're going to bring on Julie Spira. She's the country's top online dating expert and author of the bestseller, The Perils of Cyber Dating. Confessions of a Hopeful Romantic Looking for Love Online. Julie, that's me. Help me out. Oh, my gosh. You're in for a ride, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm going out tonight. What are some of the... Give me, give me some tips about what I should be looking for when I first get there. We're meeting at a kind of a secluded bar over on the east side of New York. Okay. Sounds exciting. So tell me a little bit about your date. Did she write to you first? Did you write to her? Uh, I saw her online. I, I guess we started. What, first, explain it. I, I, I winked. All right. Oh, how lazy you winked. You is know, that laughter? bad? Yeah, it's bad. That's that, bad. Why is that bad? I'll tell you why. Women don't take men seriously when they they wink for two reasons. One, they think you could be lazy and you didn't take the time to write an appropriate, very personalized, short email to them. And two, maybe you're really not even a paying member of the site, and you're just sort of winking at everyone to see, like, who might <laughs> wink back. So you're lucky you've got a date from winks, but lots of women well, will I didn't get, let me, let me find, I didn't get it from the wink, okay? That, that started <laughs> it. And then she, I, I think she winked back, and there seems to be all kinds of communications. That it's pretty complex. I'm kind of learning the ins, the ins and outs, but, you know, I wrote to her, you know, I... I I'll be honest with you. You know, I did not read her profile first. You know, I think all women expect you to read the profile right, right away. I looked at the picture. Does, it make me, does that make me bad? It makes you normal. Guys are visual. <laughs> they look at the pictures. Either they like what they see or they don't. But then you're going to But don't be women do that too? Don't women do that? Of course they do, but men do it a little bit more. But what happens is women will like what they see and maybe read the first couple sentences of a man's profile, where a man doesn't even usually get past the first sentence if he gets there. So you need to do your homework before tonight's date. You need to read her profile. You should probably even print it out as a cheat sheet <laughs> so you're not asking questions like, so have you ever been married when she's already talking about being divorced with two children? Well, you know, I, this is not my first time on, on Match.com. I'm going to take you back to a, a number of years ago. I was on briefly, and I got kind of turned off by it. And uh, here's what, I, what, what happened to me. I, I had been on for about a month. And, you know, I came to the conclusion, you know, this is not for me, you know. Uh, and I decided to leave, and I decided to cancel my subscription. That was a near impossibility, by the way. Uh, I couldn't find any, there's no cancel button like on the main page. Maybe there is now, but there wasn't back then. I had to be a computer program. I navigated a whole bunch of pages, but to make a long story short, I finally was able to cancel it. But of course, I still have a week left, so I, I go back and I, you know, I might as well check it out. You know, I still got a week. And lo and behold, everything had changed for me. Uh, suddenly, I was getting all these, these emails and I was shocked. I mean, they were the most beautiful women on the planet. Every one of them was a runway model, and most of them were well below my, my age bracket. And then uh, it kept me online. I crossed over. I renewed my prescription subscription. And then suddenly when I started to email back to these people, I was getting this uh, message back saying this profile is no longer online. I felt like I was had. Oh, okay. So you thought maybe there might be a fake profile there. Um, let me sort of explain. There are premium members who pay and they can read your emails and write to you and there are freemium members so like if you cancel your membership then your profile's still up there it's just but you can't you can wink but you can't pay i thought so, it was more sinister than that i really felt <laughs> i really felt it was a you know an online gimmick by match.com they were losing a subscription here's a way to keep me on and get my 30 bucks and, and, and it showed you lots of pictures of hot girls. Okay, well, that was then, and this is now. Are you excited about tonight's date? I'm real excited. You know, she's a beautiful girl. And, and you know what? We've talked on the phone. It's not like this is not a complete blind date. Um, 
you know, I, I really like this girl. I'm a little nervous. Uh, we're meeting there. What, what are some tips? What are some of the first things I should do when I get there? Well, you should definitely get there on time. You should make sure you have her mobile phone number and text her when you arrive. Um, it's sort of a fun and flirty digital foreplay. So it's really cute to say, hey, I like I that word. For, say that word again, foreplay. I like that word. Fun and flirty digital foreplay. <laughs> okay. So let her know that you've gotten there. Send her a flirty text because if this relationship does move forward, she's going to have your first text to her from your first date, and she's going to be really, you know, sort of romantic about it and want to keep it. So do that. It shows the sign that you know you're taking, you're an action-oriented guy. You are got there. You're, you're taking the date seriously, and um, let her know what you're wearing. Hi, now, I'm here. If, Just got if, here. if we hit it off and we're having a drink, it, you know, should I extend it? Do, do I go for an extension and say, hey, why don't we grab some dinner? Of course you do. Every girl knows that they're checked out during the drinks, and if they pass the test, they get to have food. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. If you're having a good time, don't cut the date short because she might think, he's only asked me out for drinks, and he's got another date after me for dinner, and then who is he seeing for dessert? Wow, so this is really, have I'm so right excited, there. Julie. You got me really excited. I can't wait to, wait to go tonight. Thank you so much for the great advice. Give we appreciate it. Give me a full it. report. <laughs>